Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. I recently was asked a question by uh, one of you lovely followers uh, about how I go about selling my artwork on Facebook. So I thought I would do a quick video just to share with you some basic highlights as to how I successfully sell my artwork on Facebook. Okay, this is for now, just so we can get this going. Um, this is assuming that you already have a strong following on Facebook, that you already have uh, an art page slash business page set up on your Facebook account. If you don't have that, then this video is not for you. You need to set that up before you do anything else and you need to be able to get followers. If you want me to share with you how um, I go about getting followers on Facebook, just leave me um, a comment uh, below and I would be happy to do a separate video uh, about that experience for you. But let's just, uh, for now, let's just assume that you already have a specific following on Facebook. Um, that you have people who comment regularly and that you post regularly on Facebook. People are creatures of habit. They want to see things that uh, are consistent. So if you don't consistently post on Facebook, that is going to be rule number one. Um, post what it is that you're working on. What I do specifically is I will post progress photos of what it is that I am currently working on. If it takes me two weeks to do a painting, I will post regular updates of that painting in progress just to share with my followers how things are coming along. Am I running into any problems? Um, any reference photos that I used, anything that's going to sort of uh, generate more interest in the painting that I'm working on and that I intend to sell on Facebook, that is, uh, that's most helpful if you can do that. That way you are getting feedback from people, um, they're sharing it with people that they know, um, if people like things on Facebook, they're going to share those things on Facebook. So you don't want to wait until your piece is finished and then just offer it up in a post and say, does anybody want to buy this? You want to generate interest for it first. So from the conception, even the sketch that you're going to be doing, um, you can start out with that. You can always find ways to create posts. Now, I'm not saying that you have to post three times a day. In fact, you don't want to oversaturate um, with the same material on Facebook because you don't want people to lose interest. You want people to look forward to what it is that you are going to be posting. So I tend to generally post on Facebook, you know, anymore I'm doing it probably at least three times a week, more like four, but if I'm really busy, three times a week, definitely. I do have designated days that I try to adhere to, although I'm terrible about keeping a schedule, but I always tend to do progress photos throughout the week, and then um, on Fridays, generally, if I have a piece finished, I will post the, the uh, painting up for sale on Fridays. But however you wanna do your schedule is fine. Just make sure that you stick to some, some sort of a schedule. Okay, so once your painting is finished then um, what you want to do is take a good photo of it it's got to be a good photo so find a place in your house where you have good indirect lighting um, you know cameras these days I have an iPhone uh, and most cameras these days have excellent photo editing software so you don't have to use you know a, a camera that where you have lights and all this stuff you can use your camera phone and take a really decent photo make sure that the, you get the colors as accurate to the original as possible make sure that it's light and airy and have a nice background uh, sometimes i take just an image of the actual uh, painting uh, just so people can see it and they don't have any distraction meaning it's from edge to edge it's just the painting um, that i will post when i'm posting for sale other times, 
and it's all trial and error. You know, I, I'm still learning too to see what my followers want to see. So sometimes I will do that where I'll have just the image of my painting from edge to edge. Other times I will do a very nice background. I'll have bring in some accessories just to really dress up uh, my painting. But whatever you decide to do, whatever is for you, just make it look presentable, make it look attractive. And then generally when I am posting for sale, once I have my image that I know that I'm going to use, then I will uh, include in my post. Sometimes I, since my art I find uh, many times is inspiring, I'll find a quote that I think is appropriate for my particular painting. Um, if I paint, let's say a bird, um, I will tend to look for quotes that pertain to that particular bird. Um, or if I am painting a landscape, sometimes I will look for a quote, you know, by Robert Frost or something like that, that will sort of generate some sort of a, an emotional connection to the painting. Um, and then after I do a quote, I don't always do a quote, but a lot of times I do. After the quote, make sure that you uh, give credit to whoever it is that wrote the quote. And then underneath that, give as much information as you can about the painting. Some artists will say, this painting is now for sale. If you are interested in learning more about it, please just message me. Some people will do that. Some buyers will do that. Most buyers will not do that unless they know what it is that you sell your paintings for generally. Um, people just kind of are embarrassed, you know, because they think, well, what if I can't afford it? Then I have to figure out whether or not I'm going to email this artist back and then tell her no. And it just, it gets uncomfortable for a lot of people. Anybody, when they talk about money, it's an uncomfortable subject. So you just want to give your potential customer as much information as you can. So for example, for me, I will say something like, um, uh, I'll give my quote about, let's say if I'm doing a bird, if I have a bird painting, I'll give a quote about a bird. And then underneath, uh, I will say something like, uh, you know, this, this painting is now uh, complete. And if you find that it is speaking to you, um, here are some additional uh, details about it. It is sized uh, eight by 10 inches. It was completed on watercolor paper using aquarelle uh, watercolor pencils. Um, and then after that, you list the price. Make sure you list uh, how you want to be paid. Personally, I only do PayPal because it is easy and most everybody has a PayPal account. If they don't, they can easily get one. Um, at least most everybody knows what PayPal is. Plus you can print shipping labels straight from PayPal now. So you don't have to belong to places like Etsy or Amazon Handmade if that's not your bag. You can do it straight from PayPal. So uh, I will list PayPal only, please. Um, and then make sure you put on there uh, within the post whether or not shipping charges will be applied. So if it's free shipping, I usually don't say free shipping. I usually say complimentary shipping, something like that, just because it sounds better than free shipping. Um, but it's totally up to you how you want to say that. So um, just to go over real quickly again, so you want to Make sure that you have a good photo of your painting. You want to make sure that uh, it's attractive and uh, that it looks like something that someone is really going to be interested in purchasing. Uh, you want to list the size of your painting. You want to list the price of your painting. Uh, and you want to list your, your shipping um, and how you want to get paid. Um, make sure you do your research as far as shipping goes because I've been burned on this. I can't tell you how many times. I finally learned how it works best for me, but uh, shipping in the United States is obviously, if you're from the U.S., is going to be a lot less expensive than if you are shipping outside of the U.S. So I highly recommend that you do your research and you figure out how much it's going to sh cost you to ship that 
painting. Um, obviously, watercolors, uh, Yupo paper, um, if you're doing pencil, that type of thing, that's going to cost a lot less to ship because you can slide those generally in envelopes with a rigid backing and you're good to go. Canvases, that's a whole nother story. I'm just now starting to learn how to ship canvases and, and that's a whole nother deal. So make sure that you list accurate shipping prices for your customers. So once you have once you have listed that, then um, you can, again, you can have people uh, just say, if you're interested, just message me and then just make sure that you get back with uh, people who have any questions or want to know more about it. Maybe they want a more detailed photograph, something like that. Um, I would not send them, if somebody requests a detailed photograph, um, make sure you don't send them a high quality image of the entire thing because uh, there are some not few honest people out there and they will just save that to their computer and print it out themselves and just use it as a nice print for themselves. So uh, make sure that whatever you send to them, you either uh, have your name on it or you send them just, you know, portions of the painting, not the whole thing. Um, that's really big. So uh, anyway, from there, then people will message me. I always go in order. Uh, whoever messages me first, they have uh, first refusal. So they can tell me whether or not they want it. I usually give them a few hours. Um, if they don't get back with me or if I find that they are not really interested, I will message them once again and I will say, you know, I again have this for you. If you are still interested, I will hold it for you until four o'clock this evening and then I will have to move on to my next customer. Thank you for your time. So make sure you go in order. Um, a lot of people to check the comment section because some people won't message you. They will say, want in the comment section, which leads me to my final point. If you don't want to take messages about it, if you want it to just be quick and easy for people, you can just say um, in your description, say, uh, if you would like this painting, simply type want in the comment section and I will message you. So just depending on how you wanna go, what, what way is easiest for you, that's how I recommend that you do it. So anyway, that's how I do it. Um, and uh, hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you have any ideas for future videos or if you uh, have a question that I did not answer, please leave it in the comment section. Um, as always, you can find me on Facebook at Ellen Brenneman Studio. You can scroll through and see how I've done uh, previous sales uh, on paintings from there, um, which hopefully will give you some ideas. Um, and you can always find me on, on Etsy also at Ellen Brenneman Studio. So thanks everybody. Hope this was helpful and I will talk to you next time. Bye.